Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a mermaid pattern in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create a new document. Go ahead and click on Create New. The dimensions of this document are gonna be 400 pixels by 400 pixels with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color, and then we're gonna set our background contents to transparent. Go ahead and click Create. From here, I'm gonna zoom in on my canvas, Command Plus. And then we are going to use the ellipse tool to create a circle. So over here in the shape, select the ellipse tool. And then I'm going to just click on the canvas here. And then I'm going to do a width of 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And then click OK. From here, I'm going to uh, change the fill to no fill. I'm going to set a stroke width of 20 pixels. Okay. And then uh, let's make sure this is uh, centered on our canvas here using a V the move tool and then you can just uh, drag it till the smart guides tell you you are in the center. From here we are going to rasterize this layer so you're going to right click and click to rasterize layer. I'm going to add a guide so I'm going to go to view new guide I'm going to set a horizontal guide at 50% and click OK I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool I'm going to change the style to normal and then we'll get rid of this here and then starting on the line I'm just going to drag a, a rectangle to go over the bottom half of that circle with our layer selected, marquee selected, you can right click and then you, we are going to do layer via cut and that will basically cut those two circles in half. Uh, we are going to uh, just delete this uh, top one so we have our one layer here and then I'm going to just duplicate that layer, clicking OK, we'll move to the move tool here and then uh, just bringing it down and then just aligning it with our smart guides here and then we are going to uh, we can get rid of our grid line so view and then um, let's see clear guides here I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on my canvas here I'm gonna hit the command plus key and then what you'll notice we need to uh, to unclick on this layer here is they need to overlap so we'll click back here and with the arrow key, we're going to move it up. As you move it up, um, pay attention to how many uh, pixels you move it up. So we have one, two, three pixels because we are going to use that value again. Um, so we have three pixels. We'll just click off it to make sure that it's even there. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out, Command minus. And then uh, selecting that layer, I'm going to uh, duplicate it clicking on OK and then I'm just going to hit shift and we're just going to bring it across until it lines with the smart guides with the center there. Okay, So now we have our basic shape here. Next we are going to uh, start cropping it down a little bit. So we are going to uh, click on the uh, this one right here and then I'm going to add a guideline from the side so you can just pull from the ruler and then it will just snap to the middle. To do this you want to go to view and you want to make sure you have your rulers turned on, you'll have the snap selected and then under show you want layer edges and smart guides selected here. So we'll go ahead and drag, uh, click on this other one here, we're going to drag a ruler out and then it will snap to the center of that one there. So we are going to um, go to our marquee tool Let's select off of that one, go to our marquee tool, and then we'll just, uh, we're going to crop this down here. So we're going to go, um, we drew out to our smart guides, we're going to go to image, um, sorry, we are going to, yes, image crop, and then it will crop it down there, and then uh, deselect there. Um, we can go ahead and uh, combine these elements. So selecting all of them in your layers panel, you're going to right click, and you are going to scroll down to uh, merge layers going to our marquee tool we're going to go uh, command a to select everything v and then we are going to align it to the top here and then you can uh, deselect that there with that selected we are just going to move it up the three pixels one 
to three to be consistent with our previous uh, translation when we were moving our half circles up. Uh, from here, let's go ahead and crop it down some more. I'm gonna select in the layers panel, command click to select all of that, and then we'll go to image crop and it will crop it to it there. We're gonna go ahead and deselect uh, view. Let's go ahead and clear our canvas guides to get rid of those extra lines there. And then um, using the marquee tool, I'm just going to take some measurements just to kind of see um, how it looks here. So going from the top to our point here, we have a height of about 105, deselecting there. Going uh, from that same top position here down, we have a height of about 108. So it's a little bit taller there, so we're going to need to... Um, crop it down just a little bit more vertically. So we are going to uh, take the 105 and we are going to do 210, a height of 210, so we can deselect there. So in the top corner here, we're going to go down um, to a height of 210 and then select that there, going to image, crop, and then that will just crop it down there. And then let's go ahead and deselect Command D. And then we are going to go to Edit, Define Pattern. Click on OK there. And then let's create a new document, File New. This time we are going to do the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper. With this going to be 3,600 pixels by 3600 pixels, resolution 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color. We'll set our background contents to white and then click create. From here I'm going to create a pattern adjustment layer, Just clicking on pattern and then with a drop down we'll scroll down to find our most recent pattern here. When this is open you have the option to uh, change the angle, you can scale it up down, um, when this is open, you can even move it around on the canvas. If you want to get back to the original, you can click Snap to Origin. We'll go ahead and, and let's move it just a little bit so the sides are um, a little bit even. Let's go about right there. Clicking OK here. And then let's add a changing the color of it by adding a solid color adjustment layer. And then I'll select a, here, a color here for my swatches, clicking OK. And then to um, add it to your pattern, you're going to create a clipping mask. With that color fill layer selected, you're going to right click and you can select Create Clipping Mask. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Hover between the two layers, um, click op Option, click for Mac users, I believe it's Alt, click for PC and then you can create that clipping mask. And then we can add a, a color background as well, adding another solid color adjustment layer. I'm um, gonna choose a color for my swatches here, and then I get this nice uh, two-tone effect here. Uh, with this document, you could save it as a template and then come back into it, and you could easily um, adjust your colors um, if you want to uh, switch them up that way. And then the next step would be to uh, save it as digital scrapbooking paper. So we're going to go to File, Save As. Go ahead and give your file a name, select your folder, and then under Format we're going to change it to JPEG. Make sure the embed color profile is selected and then click Save. When you're doing digital scrapbook paper, you want to make sure it's a high quality file. So um, under image options here, you can just drag it all the way over to the right and then click OK. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a mermaid pattern in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description, I will leave a link to my shop where I sell Photoshop pattern templates. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital scrapbooking paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.